up guys welcome back to another video um, so today's video is kind of like a just a vlog just uh you know i'm gonna hit up the gym and then show you guys a couple parts that i got from uh grim speed that i will be uh installing soon i'm just waiting on one more part for them it's kind of a back order um other than that yeah so i, I got those parts uh, already at home and i'm gonna show you guys how kind of parts I got and then um, hopefully when the other part comes in I can throw all that in because uh, yeah it's gonna look pretty sick and I can't wait for all those parts I'm also waiting still on my other two uh, packages that I'm waiting on from WX Daily it's been a while but still haven't lost hope hopefully soon they come they come I've been waiting since August and yeah so other than that yeah that's pretty much on this video I'm just gonna show you guys Grab three parts and hopefully I can uh, wash the car and uh, take some photos of the car because it is pretty, it's cold but it's a nice day you know it's not it's not too bad um, but yeah just kind of showing kind of trying to get different uh, view angles I need I do need to buy me a GoPro right now I'm using my phone to record but I need to buy me a GoPro again I used to have one but kind of lost hope on uh, vlogging and doing anything kind of YouTube wise but you know I just do this just to do it it's nothing too crazy um, but yeah let me I'm just gonna head over there really quick get me a new uh, shaker at uh, the vitamin world or vitamin shoppy or whatever and yeah cuz uh, the one I had I lost it left it at the gym <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they threw it away so uh, there's one thing I hate it's traffic because I don't know, it's just too many people. <laughs> too much traffic in this world. You guys can hear that blow valve. That's the grim speed bypass valve. That's a little flutter to it. I don't know if you guys see my other video. But yeah, it has a little flutter to it when I let go of the go throttle. Just sounds so good. I'm pretty much getting all the stuff that I need. Hopefully next year I'll be able to do some more mods, performance mods to the car. Cause I'm pretty much done with how the car should look other than getting another Ricardo seat, um, which I do need to get. Cause damn, it just looks so good on the interior and the other seat just doesn't match with the, with the driver's side. Look at that, I need gas and I just barely freaking seen that. Anyways guys, I'm done with my shopping. I bought this little bottle right here. And this pre-workout right here, Nitro Flex. It's good stuff. Like it, wakes me up. Gets me going. give you guys my honest review of these Recaro seats if you guys haven't ever owned like me owned a pair of racing seats I would call it sports seats or something you know racing seats let's just call them racing seats because obviously that's what we call them if you guys never owned one or sat in one because I never have um, this is the first time I've ever driven a car with um, some type of racing seat and I gotta say <laughs> this these seats fit feel so good so good compared to uh, the STI stock seats they just uh, they hug you so well um, they keep you in yo <laughs> but anyways yeah those seats these seats fit so good hug you really really well um they feel amazing compared to the sti seats oh my god i should have got these seats a 
long time ago. The only part, the only issue I have with these seats for me is getting out and getting in. Well, getting in is fine, but getting out, you have to like. <laughs> I have with these seats is getting out and getting in getting in is not so bad but getting out I mean it's, it's kind of a not a pain or anything it's just kind of tedious <laughs> you gotta I, I pull on the stairwell to push myself out um, because it is pretty low and it sits pretty low and then the stairwell is kind of in the way so you got to get around the seat and over the, the bolster thing on your seat usually I sit I put I move the seat all the way back and then, um, and then I move forward. Let me put some gas really quick. I need some gas. What's this guy doing? It's not going back. Probably because it's freaking. What are you doing, brother? By the way, I don't know who that infinity was. <laughs> you just said, What's up? Let me just throw on some gas really quick. All right. For those of you wondering how much it costs to fill up an STI from with premium from empty, sixty dollars exactly. <laughs> sixty something, sixty sixty eight. Well, that's how much I filled up today. Not that bad. Could be worse. Could be back to the eighties, nineties, um, like it was. I think it was earlier this year. But yeah. Back to my topic. So Ricaros, yes. They feel freaking amazing. Oops. Forgot to go to Sport Sharp. <laughs> so yeah, they feel amazing. They feel amazing. They're so comfortable. So that's my only issue is getting up. Other than that. Why wouldn't you want to get this seat unless you're short? <laughs> then you can't see over the steering wheel. Um, like my wife, she, she tried taking this car off for spin after the new seat, and guess what? She cannot drive the car anymore. <laughs> um, she says she can't reach the pedals um, just because she is kind of short. So she says she can't reach the pedals when she got in, but she can, she can, she can see over the steering wheel, which is weird. But I guess apparently this uh, seat bracket, the seatbelt receptacle thing is in the way, so um, she's not able to move the seat um, forward as much as she needs to to reach the pedals. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you, that's the only thing that's the issue. She won't be able to drive the car and probably getting out of the seat. But other than that, I mean, cause this, I think this bolster right here on the left, when you get out, if you don't watch it, I try to go over it, but if you lean on it too much, I feel like after a while it's gonna it's gonna start messing it up. But yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna get the passenger side. The only problem is like uh, that stupid uh, sensor thing. Um, I don't know how it's gonna work because these are closed. I don't know if I I don't want to open them up and um, put the sensory in there. So I might just throw it in there and then just have it connected and hopefully all, all goes well. The only issue is if we get an accident, those seatbelts will probably won't be on. So definitely not a good idea. We're now to the gym. I don't know how well you can hear this car, but yeah. Sounds good. And once I throw on those other green speed parts, I think it's gonna sound a little better. Um, overall, I do want to get me another turbo because I feel like this turbo might be on its last legs. Um, Performance-wise, this car at 100, <laughs> if you were to 
guess 130,000 miles on this car. I've been driving it a lot for seven years now. And um, it still feels amazing. The only issue I have now, other than the clutch going out earlier this year, um, like last two months ago, the only issue I have now is probably my axle on my driver's side. It's kind of, I don't know if it's the axle or the hub, but it's messing up and I definitely need to get that fixed. And the other issue is uh, my header, my up pipe, that freaking heat shield, for some reason cracked or whatever, and now it's making a bunch of noise and it's bugging me. So I gotta change those. Hopefully this year I'll get some headers and turbo and I don't know, we'll see. I kinda wanna save all that for, the re for another engine. I do want to get either the IAG or the Type RA. I'm not looking for a crazy amount of horsepower, but you know, 400 would be perfect for this car, especially for the streets. I don't really race this thing. I don't really do anything uh, for, uh, motorsport wise or anything. I just enjoy the car as a daily. Love driving it. Um, yeah. So, hopefully this year, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, you know. You always have to have plans, but then some plans don't work out, so. Hey, but I was thinking about getting another car. Lately, I've been wanting to see, I don't know, I've been falling in love with the GR86 for some reason. I don't know if you guys know Kevin from Subi Speed. He has one, and God, just red looks so nice. So good. And I kind of just want a two-seater kind of car, you know, either that or Supra, you know. I like the four-seater, but, you know, this is, this is, Great for the kids and uh, great for poor, uh, you know, daily driving and stuff. But I also want a two-seater. I mean, I can fit my kid in there. <laughs> He's already 10 years old. He can sit in the front. Just kidding. But I don't know, Supra or 300, uh, the 400Z or the GR86. We gotta think which one do I want. And I want either one of them. I want all of them in red. I don't care which one it is. Red with white wheels. Or red with bronze wheels, gold wheels, whatever you want to call it. And this year, I am rewrapping the car, taking off this yellow, because you know, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of done with it. I'm starting to really like not like the car anymore. Um, the yellow, I mean, the car is fine. The yellow, yeah. I, I was thinking maybe red next. Red, blue, not you know, I'm not trying to do any crazy colors. Maybe Nardo gray with the blue. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, this, this car is already silver with a little bit of hand in blue, but you know, I don't know, we'll see. I just wanted to match the carbon fiber, obviously. Um, I know this viewing angle is pretty, it sucks right now. I'm gonna see what I can do, because GoPro will probably fix that. That's my next thing for a video. if this video vlog, this vlog turns into a, a photo shoot for you guys and show you guys how I take my photos <laughs> and show you my uh, my setup, my camera setup. Yeah, well, I am right, at the gym, so I'm gonna work out really quick. And then um, once we get to the house, I'll show you what's up. All right, peace out. guys little photo shoot really quick this is the so we got the Sony a7r3 and I'm gonna take some 35 millimeter um, picture right now I'm inside a parking garage because it got dark so yeah it got pretty dark and can't really take pictures outside anymore so, yeah, let's take some pictures of the outside.
Alright. Thirty-five mil. I think that's perfect for a gar a car garage place. I wasn't able to watch the car freaking a hundred percent, but shit. And I had to go through one of those touchless car washes. Sucks, but oh well, you know. Gotta do what we gotta do. Yep. Gotta pick up the ISO. It's kind of dark in here. Maybe lower the shutter speed a little bit. Scrape. Turn off these lights really quick, maybe that would work. Car is not 100% clean, but shit. It's not like you can see. See it in the pictures. It's already at 35. The tail lights look better uh, lit up. Oh, let me put those perfectly right there. Oops. I'll do a manual focus if I could, but it's too dark. All right, let me bring out the other one. The 105 millimeter one. This is by far my favorite lens. The 135. It just makes everything look so much cleaner. There we go. Get a little more back. Damn, I still need to go more back. Got the shit. There we go. And then just a little bit of the front, and I'm done. Just a little photo shoot, you know? Nothing too crazy. Just haven't taken any pictures in a while. It's nice to go out and take some pictures. Let's do a little bit of the front. Get that wheel in there too. Five millimeter. Definitely need to scoop back. There we go.
Alright. I think that's it for this photo shoot. Let me just go on home and show you guys what I got. Put this away real quick. By the way, the, the big one is a, a Sigma 105. Boom. That's it for a little photo shoot. Let's just go back to the house and I'll show you those parts. All right, I'm back. <laughs>